This right here is the scale 118 Willie 1970 Chevrolet El Camino SS 396. This is a really, really nice model overall, and I'm going to show you some of the details. Um, before I get started, I just want to say this is a re review, um, as I've been doing recently, just in more detail with the better camera so you can better make a decision on whether you want to buy this model. And if I were you, I would, because this is it's pretty good. Now the El Camino actually is one of my favorite cars for the reason that it's just so unique. It's, it has a the front end of a Chevelle and then the back end of a pickup. Very Australian styled and I just, I, I love it. It's got a big 396, actually a 402 cubic inch um, engine under there. Really, really nice. Okay, so if we get started in the um, on the information here. So this car cost roughly about $25, $30, I believe, from the last time. It definitely shouldn't be over $30. This is a budget car, um, as most wellies are, except for the newer ones. Uh, it comes in black as well as an orange color, which is pretty nice. It was my decision to go with the black. I'm very happy with it. And um, this is very similar to uh, the Welly Chevelle, which you can also get. So as far as features goes, there is no suspension, but the wheels do turn with the steering wheel. Typical Welly. Outside, we do have a very small peg in the in the headlight, but it doesn't really matter because it's kind of right in the point where the the halogen bulb would be anywhere, not the halogen, um, just the regular old bulb uh, would be in there. Front, you can't really see through it, but it's a pretty nicely um, well done grill. Even though you can't go all the way through it, it looks like you can. Has some a nice depth to it. The SS badging there. Little Chevrolet logo. Has chrome throughout, chrome surrounding um, the grill as well as the lights. The quality of it is pretty okay. It's, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's it's amazing, but it's better than that of a Maisto. Sometimes you get a Maisto and the chrome quality is actually really bad uh, before it's even touched. It's kind of annoying. But there's more chrome here and some more uh, running along there and the windshield. Now, they do substitute chrome for some silver here, which doesn't look bad. I won't, I won't um, bring that up as an issue, but it is there and it's a little issue worth noting. Now you can see back here it has that, or it has, well, quote unquote chrome uh, surrounding the wheel housing. Here you don't necessarily see it as well. It is there, but it's underneath, so it just wasn't painted very well. Again, it's not something that really bothers me. SS, and that's the 396 right there. Continuing on the back. Pretty nice wheels. Well done. And that is my license plate. It's an old Kansas plate. blue Chevrolet logo. Now this was actually um, told to me by a subscriber. This actually comes off. In my first video I said that this actually doesn't fold down and it does. It just takes a little bit of effort. You just gotta lift up, preferably from the back, to be careful not to break it, and then you can pull it down quite simply. It doesn't go down all the way, but at least it works. And because I was the first, that was the only really reason I didn't like this car was because the back didn't open. Well, that was rectified. So um, I, for, um, I apologize, I forget the person's name uh, that gave me that suggestion, but do I do thank you. Another peg in the reverse light. Then we have some more lights down here. That might be a reflector, actually. Paint, col paint quality is pretty good throughout the car. Um, this right here is not a sticker. It is um, heat painted on there, and that's good engine quality is very good um, although it is difficult to see it because you can it doesn't open very much and there really is anything you can do about that but when you do look in there despite it not opening much uh, it has a nice block with 
uh, fully formed headers, which you don't normally see on Maestos. Sometimes they're uh, they're rounded and they're not even chrome colored. This is fortunately. All the wires, everything. And it even has the belts too, the belts that are extended off um, the engine. Really, really nicely well done. Glad to see it. Now it does have these little hood locks, although there is no lock that comes with it. Everything does open, by the way. Inside, this being a welly, very, very well done. Um, along the door here, you can see kind of that vinyl, uh, that vinyl pattern, kind of, it, kind of similar to leather in a way. But it looks really nice. This is silver, but it looks very, it's pretty, uh, pretty good substitute for the chrome. And everything's on the door. On the inside, we have those vinyl seats. Again, nice texture to them. No seat belt. That's okay. And that's actually the spare tire back there. You can see um, what looks like a cover. Actually has a floor mount too. Now there is no carpeting though. Keep that in mind. Very, very fine on the inside. No paint goes where it shouldn't. That's sometimes my pet peeve with budget cars. You like silver paint on uh, buttons that just, it shouldn't be there. Now you have a Chevrolet logo in the center of the steering wheel. It's white. I don't know if that's accurate. But all the gauges are back there and they're surrounded again with that kind of silvery chrome look. It looks pretty nice. Comparing this to the actual car, it is, it is um, just about right. Nice interior indeed. And a window. That's, it's kind of loose, but I don't foresee it falling off anytime soon. And last but not least, we have the underbody, which again continues uh, the pattern of quality with this car. Engine, you can really, you actually almost see the engine better under here than you can from up there. Everything is raised from the ground, including the drive shaft and the differential in the rear, suspension components, exhaust, really very nice. Very well done. And again, this is for about $30, $30 so definitely worth it. All right, so overall, I would absolutely recommend this model, uh, the Scale 118 uh, Chevrolet El Camino. And I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.